um, time for a few other questions, but we do have one question. It's more of a personal question to you too. Um, how do you see yourself on the board as an agent of change? Will you represent the Arlingtonians who clearly wanted, how can you represent the Arlingtonians who clearly wanted to move forward? I'm sorry, represent. Will you, will you represent the Arlingtonians who clearly wanted a new board? Oh so, I think that um, when I've been out talking to voters, you know, there is, a, I think, a, a general sense that, uh, that we're ready to turn the page. That there has been, we've been through a period of, of divisiveness, that there are a lot of ch uh, challenges facing us, that we've had some, um, you know, a rough go at it with the Arlington Way um, for the past couple of years, and, and folks are ready to turn the page. And I think that people were, that was reflected in the election results last year. And I think uh, many of us here widely uh, well received uh, uh, and welcome um, Katie and Christian to the board. And, uh, and I think that it's time for one more new board member. Uh, and so, uh, and as, far as, being, as far as being an agent of change, I think that um, those that have served with me previously, whether it was on the board of doorways uh, or my fellow planning commissioners um, in, in, in my business environment, uh, those who work with me uh, in the uh, in my civic association, where we uh, led an effort um, that was ultimately successful to renovate our Lion Park Community Center, you know, these were not things that are easy. And I think that my leadership style is to work with others to understand where they're coming from, how they see the issues, and to uh, to drive towards a solution where it's a win-win-win solution. And I think that that's the major kind of change that we, re that we need right now. We don't need more change uh, for the sake of change. We need change away from the divisive politics of the past, and I think we're ready to turn the page. So I would invite you to watch some of our meetings. Remember, they're recorded. So go to last year, watch, say, November, December, watch one of those meetings, and watch, say, January, watch, watch February or March. And I think you will pick up an incredibly changed tone. This board is clicking. We are working really well together. We have 4-1 votes. We have 3-2 votes. We have 5-0 votes. And we discuss things. We get out on the table what we think. We vote and we move on. And the camaraderie, I think you can sense really clearly. It is a wonderful board, which, as I said, I have helped create. We are just starting to get ourselves together and used to being together and we're doing great things. Just watch the two boards and you can see what's happening. Um, so just back to it, since, well, since we started in January, video streaming meetings, that just started, right? The budget, watch our budget discussion. I actually took a risk on that one. Usually what we've had done before is the board comes out, the board chair has figured everything out, they call it the chair's mark, and it's all done, pretty much done, voted, and you don't even get to watch it. So this time I said, I don't want to call it chair's mark. I want to call it the board's draft budget, which we did. We came out, and you can see us working through about 12 different items. And it was a little dicey because, yeah, they all had to balance the columns. and a lot of discussion. Even the staff took a risk with me, too. We worked it through. You can see clearly how we are thinking, why we're doing it. It's wonderful. And I really, it, I, I'm having a blast. I really want to stay on this board because we are having such fun. Finally, if you want to look about who's moving, moving forward and looking back, you might want to just look at the endorsements each of us has.